Hello and welcome to week 8 of the PDL, final week before playoffs. Um, we're going up against Collision of Scent this week. And yeah, this game um, is a win and in playoffs for us, for me. Um, however, if I do lose, um, so my diff is better than a lot of the 4 and 3 years so far. Um, I have a good chance of making it even if I lose, however, to guarantee it, I, 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 I do want to win. Yeah, going to the matchup, my opponent has a Sun team. Uh, pretty pretty good Sun team. Um, as you can see, there's the Great Toxic and Gouging Fire taking advantage of that Sun. Sarah Legend, the Sun is super, super strong. Um, yeah. And my opponent also has Sand and Mega Tyranitar, uh, which is kind of a counter, like a, like a, what is that, like a like counterbalance, anti-synergy, anti-synergistic team. But my opponent's been doing pretty decently with it, so I'm not going to argue. Also, Alone executor with like harvest sets and sun, which I don't think will come. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah. So look at the matchup. Um, Iron Valiant, huge threat. <laughs> My po only opponent that outspeeds is Zero Aura, and if Booster Speed comes or it's Scarf, then I just yeah, I don't have to tell you. So the Gouging Fire it sets up with a Dragon Edge or something like that. It's very threatening. Um, Great Test can bulk up. Iron Dark and also the Dragon Dance. Um, and Sarah Ledge, like Swords Dance, Shadow Sneak, Destiny Pond, Poltergeist, Spitter Blade, all that stuff. Can be decently threatening. Um, yeah, and then generally all that. I do not think Executor or Claydol is going to come. Um, just generally because my opponent hasn't brought it too much, but we'll see. So I'm going to my team real quick. We're starting off, none other than my boy, Victini. This week we have Choice Specs uh, with Blue Flare, Psychic, Focus Blast, and U-Turn. Blue Flare is a great button to click in the sun. It does a lot of damage with the Specs and sun. Um, and Psychic is a very spammable move in my opponent's team. If my opponent doesn't bring Mega Tarantar, I click it completely freely. It hits uh, like my opponent's team neutrally across everything except for Claydol. Um, Focus Blast for that Mega Tarantar and U-Turn just for pivoting. Pretty simple Choice Specs set. Next is Mega Galade. Um, we are Swords Hands 3 attacks today. Uh, close combat, Zen Headbutt, and Shadow Sneak. Close combat, Zen Headbutt for uh, dual stabs hit my opponent's team uh, neutrally across the whole board. Um, except for uh, Clay all again, uh, which I don't expect to come. Um, and then Shadow Sneak is for the Sarah Ledge, um, because my opponent likes to run Stash Sarah Ledge uh, with Swords and uh, Shadow Sneak, Bitter Blade, Destiny Bond. So to counteract that, um, I do want to get Hazards up. Uh, with the focus sash, and if I am at plus two, I get <coughs> I can shadow sneak uh, the Gallade before it shadow sneaks me because I'm naturally faster. Uh, yeah, just take it out that way. And I, I'm gonna try not to give the Sarah Ledge a uh, weak, weak, like weak armor boost because at plus two it does outspeed you, uh, so it'll shadow sneak before mine. So I'm gonna try not to do that. However, with a Swords Dance booth, Mega Glade is really good, really good for my opponent's team. Um, also, if the uh, Valiant is removed, because Valiant kind of counters this. And next is Urshifu. Uh, we have Focus Sash this week with Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and Swords Dance. Another Swords Dance set, again, which is kind of cooked behind Valiant, but we'll see, you'll see. <laughs> uh, getting Swords Dance up is very nice. Again, if the Iron Valiant's not there, um, it, it does really well to my opponent's team. Um, and focus edge is just kind of nice. It's just like a like a like a something to, like a safety con, I guess. Like my photo, if my opponent sets up like a dragon ants on Tyranitar, multiple dragon ants on either Tyranitar, or Gouging Fire, or something like that, um, I can come in, live a hit, we can blow it, do a ton of damage, and I can sucker punch the next turn. Just a, just kind of a safety net. Basic stabs and sword stances. Very strong. She was very strong. Next is Scarf Guard of War. Um, Trace, obviously. Moonblast, Psychic, Healing Wish, Destiny Bond. Um, this is a great revenge killer on this team. Uh, Moonblast and Psychic just hit my opponent's team super effectively across the entire board. Or, neutrally at least. Um, and, healing wishes, and Healing Wish and Destiny Bond, I only need these two moves. Healing Wish and Destiny Bond are just kind of there for if I need them in a pinch. <coughs> I don't think I'm going to be clicking them too much, but yeah. Um, yeah, this is, this is speed, it's just outspeed as fast as Bond, which is Kilowattral. Next. Debut is Quilladin, the Quillfish. It's Quillfish. Oh, uh, Sugarberry, Intimidate. 
spikes T wave flip turn and taunt. Um, so this is a great. It's not great. It's getting the intimidate on on his physical mons like Tusk, Gouging Fire, Tyranitar are gonna be good. Um, Getting a spike up is kind of essential in this game because I want to break the sash on um, Sarah Ledge. And it's good to just whittle down like Tox effects on switch. It's great tusks. Just just everything in general. Spikes are good in this game. Um, Thunder Wave to slow down um, his threats. Maybe I, like I can T-Wave uh, uh, like I can T-Wave <laughs> I can T-Wave a Gouging Fire, I can T-Wave a Tyrant Fire. Just all stuff like that. I can two a if I want to. However, flip turn is just for mo momentum. I only need this as my tacky move because it's really here to click spikes, T-Wave, and taunt. Taunt is for uh, specifically for the toxic specs. However, I can't, it can be used in other situations. Uh, it prevents toxic specs from doing anything like crazy, so it can only click skull. Uh, yeah. And Trickleberry is there to eat a ground hit from Grape Tusk, Tarantar, or Guardian Fire. And last but not least is Zama Crowned. Once again, Iron Defense Body Press, try and true with Crunch. And Substitute is the last slot. Um, Iron Defense Body Press hits my opponent's entire team. It's a very, very good. Um, crunch, obviously, for that Sarah Ledge, move to a KO. And Substitute is to sub on, I can substitute on the Tox Specs and just get up Iron Defenses. I can get up the plus six on Tox Specs um, because I can sub and Skull doesn't do anything, especially in the sun. So that's that. That's my team for week eight of the PBL. Um, yeah. This is not really a must win, however, I'm going to try my best two wins with the best chance of getting playoffs, even though I have a good chance already. So, yeah, the battle will be soon. Welcome to week eight, final week of uh, PBL season four, the week before playoffs. We are looking to get this win in order to guarantee make playoffs uh, at 5-3. and three. However, if I do lose, it is not uh, the worst thing in the world. There's a good chance uh, that I can still make it. And once again, this game is post-com. So, yeah. Lead, um, I was... My dedicated lead is Coolfish. Uh, I just want to lead and get up a spike. And that is what I do in this game. Uh, I lead Coolfish into Kilowattro. That's one thing. I did not expect the Kilowattro to come. Um, I didn't prep too much for the Kilowattro, however, I don't think it should be too bad of a frog. I don't think so. But we'll see, so. This is not a good matchup. <laughs> Lead matchup, obviously. Uh, I don't want to stand, so I switch out of my Victini. I eat, hits pretty well. Thunderbolt, only just 38, not too bad. At this point, I want to click Psychic, however, my opponent is going to Tyranitar. It's a good switch into Victini. I should have expected it. Should have come for Focus Blast, but Psychic is fine. I am Choice Specs locked, so I do have the switch. I go back into Coolfish, gets the Intimidate. Drop its attack. Um, this turn attack can't do too much damage, and it goes for a dragon attack immediately, um, which isn't too bad. Um, but it does miss a stone edge, which is kind of lucky for me. It wouldn't have done too much. Um, it would have done like 40% maybe. Um, but it, I could have eaten it anyway. And I do get the thunder wave off, which is very very nice. Um, and this turn, my opponent, I do spike up, which is essential. I got my one spike. That's all I need. My opponent does get full parry, which is unlucky. And I flip turn this turn on the Great Tusk switch, which is actually very nice. I do get some momentum here in the Gardevoir. This is a very, very free move blast to click. My opponent decides to just stay in it, sack it off, which is interesting. It goes back in the Tyranitar. <laughs> I trace Sandstream after it comes in, which is funny. Um, and Tyranitar eats a moon blast, so I cannot stay in here. So I go into Zama, I resist all its stabs. Um, and yeah, Iron Hood does nothing to me. So. At this point, I'm just going to set up Iron Defenses, it can't do anything to me, it stays in it, knocks off, which is interesting, I don't know why they did that play. However, it goes into Gouging Fire, I keep Iron Defensing, I'm at plus 5 now. Uh, this Gouging Fire for sure dies to my body press. Um, goodbye. Um, and next, the Gilawatro comes in, trying to resist Air Slash, crit, uh, body press, and bring it down to its focus dash. <laughs> it's not so strong. Air Slash, flinch, does happen once, however, I do not get flinched, and click body press again, which is nice. I got the Kilowattro. Zelda comes in, Shadow Sneak does not kill me. It, I, don't, I, can I think it guaranteed didn't kill me, which is very nice. So I get a ton of damage off with the Crunch. And Shadow Sneak picks the Zombies that off. I go into Urshifu to click Wicked Blow, kill the Sarah Ledge. Goes down, goes into Iron Valiant, 
and I for sure am expecting Move Blast here. Um, however, my Victini doesn't eat it too well from Specs Move Blast, since it's not booster energy. So I decided to go into the Cool Fish just to sag off my Cool Fish. Move Blast does a ton of damage, 58%. So I just sag off the Cool Fish. All good, everything's fine. I go into my Gardevoir, um, and since I'm Scarf, I outspeed this for sure. Unless this is Scarf. Um, which I'm, at this point, I know it's, it's specs because of the damage is on my cool fish. So Moonblast is the freest button I've ever put in my life. I click Moonblast, the, the Tyrantar eats this, however, the second Moonblast, a whale of kill. First Moonblast, second Moonblast, Tyrantar goes down. Um, Iron Valley cannot do anything to me, it cannot outspeed me in any, any way since it is choice specs. And I do kill it with a Moonblast. So yeah, that was a pretty quick game. Um, <laughs> Pretty decisive game, however. Yeah, I was a pretty cool game overall in general. Uh, Glade didn't come out at all, which I'm surprised about, because Glade did pretty well, which is nice. Gardevoir got three kills, which is great. Um, and yeah, Zama's at the body press is awesome. So <laughs> pretty good win, um, which puts me at 5 and 3 plus a 9, so I'm guaranteed playoffs. And since this is post com, I will say that our LCQ game is actually our, our LCQ for the last, our final playoff spot is this week, or next week, it's this week, I don't know when you're going to see this, but that was a new spot, it's not happened yet, so, yeah, after that, it'll be the playoffs, so one week break for the PDL, yeah, so, I am uh, the fourth seed, so I will not be able to choose anyone to play in the playoffs, which is fine, I'll just whoever, I'll just play whoever is the last remaining out of the, the four that are able to be chosen. Fourth seed for fourth season PDL isn't bad. Uh, definitely could have done better over the overall, the overall in the regular season. However, fourth seed after three losses isn't terrible. So that's a great thing. And yeah, playoffs will be 